your owner Hockey Alley. Today's video is going to be about the Nike Ignite. Uh, this is a original shaft and these came out around 1998-99. Uh, there's you see three models here. Two of them are the same color but the difference is the top one here this is rounded. You can see how rounded it is. You can see the rough texture right? Now look at this one. It's more square. So Nike did do different shapes for different players. And you can see the red one, it's more rounded. And the difference with the red one is there's no rough texture on the bottom. If you see the blue Nike right there, you can see the rough texture. That's for better grip. Uh, 220 stiff. So 220 was the flex rating for uh, Nike shafts. It wasn't 85 or 100. Uh, 220 was about 110 flex. So they were stiff. This one doesn't have it. So each, each stick was different. I mean, this one had, let's see on the front, anything? Nope. It's a, this one's a low kick. And uh, this one's not. Low kick. You can see the Nike swoosh. Uh, Nike did not have their own company for stick manufacture. They actually had Innovative making these. Innovative is this company right here. They're the ones that made these. And the Apollo, Nike Apollo, all of those were made by Innovative. At the time, Innovative was making sticks for Bauer too. A lot of shafts. And uh, these are quality shafts, believe it or not. They, they made a good product. As you can see here, there's a graphite and Kevlar combination. Uh, Fiber tech, they held up really well. I'm not sure what players used these, but I'm sure a lot of NHLers did. So you see the red one has just graphite. You can see the blue one has uh, gra graphite Kevlar low kick. And same thing with the top one. They're the same. The only difference is it's the, the rounded. See, it's more rounded. That's the difference. It's got the five dots. And uh, these are standard. You can see the inside. Well, you can see the difference right there. So if you see the red one right here, that has the, you see here, that's the one right there. That has fiberglass graphite. Now look over here, Kevlar, completely different color. You cannot use a torch on these. So if you have one of these, you gotta use a heat gun. And the way to, to heat these up is you gotta let the heat go right through there. Don't heat them from the side, they'll bubble. So always heat them this way. On any graphite shaft, always heat them this way. And that'll help, that way you don't burn them. Uh, the paint work, I don't know what I can say is, is I wish it would stay on better. Uh, maybe if they would have baked it, on but it would have been probably more expensive to do we can see it chips real easy but they, they were quality shafts it's just the, the paint chipping see they have a, like a clear coat right there and you can see it's chipped here you can see the difference in gloss and this one has a wood plug as you see the wood plugs even rounded And these two are full length. I don't know how many other Nike shafts are out there. I'm guessing there's a few more maybe. Yeah. Thank you for watching my video.